So this is my homemade acid injection system. Um, special thanks to my friend Scott who kind of came up with the uh, design principles. Um, but uh, real simple, very cost effective solution. Um, this is a salt water pool. I have a Pentair IC60, their largest salt cell. Um, when I'm producing chlorine, it produces hydrogen as a byproduct of the electrolysis, causes my pH to go up. So I find myself every two, three days, putting, I don't know, two cups of acid in. Um, if I go on vacation, it's kind of annoying. So I end up having to put a lot in, really run it down, and then it shoots up real fast. So I'm doing the roller coaster thing. So looking for something more stable. So what it is, I bought this seven gallon water container um 19 bucks walmart um i bought 25 foot of uh of just uh tubing i'll show all this i bought that on amazon uh tubing goes in this water container has a breather valve i sh drilled it with a 3 8 inch uh drill bit um this is a quarter inch uh tube you know it doesn't have to be airtight or anything like that but it's in there uh, i just push the tube down so it kind of gets gets to the bottom of the uh tube there um i mix this you can dilute this however you want i mean ultimately i'll probably do th three gallons of 31.45 muriatic acid and three gallons of water kind of seven gallons total but i'll keep it at six and uh then it goes you know i used a quarter inch barb to quarter inch mpt for this uh quarter inch hayward needle valve so this is the most expensive piece here right around a hundred dollars kind of crazy but it's crazy precise if you open the valve all the way up, it can probably drain this whole uh, tube in, I don't know, two, three minutes, or sorry, this container. Um, but I basically just barely have it open because I just want to draw just a little bit of, of water at a time. You really can't even see the the thing moving, but rest assured I can open it and it'll just start, start going good. So I ran that tubing, kind of, uh, Sort of just behind all my equipment here. I might tie wrap this stuff and clean it up later, but I'm sort of in test mode. And then I have a VSF pump here. So I just took out the drain plug, used a quarter inch NPT to quarter inch barb, stuck that on. So I basically have three of these, two on the valve, one in here. That uh, provides vacuum from the, the pump and it just sucks very, very slowly like a straw, draws out that diluted blend goes in, mixes it obviously in here, and shoots down the returns, just giving me a constant trickle of uh, acid. Uh, and I can kind of dial it up and down the seasons. It runs as long as the pumps run, so more pump time, more volume loss. Um, and then you can sort of just, you know, play around with it, do some measurements, and then uh, adjust accordingly. Um, probably have to adjust it a few times a season, and then you can sort of get, probably mark, you know, where you want on the on the valve. So I'll play with it and report back uh, later. I'll go ahead and show you all the parts and sort of how I assembled it, but it took me about 20 minutes in total. So here's the Hayward valve with the MPT to barb adapters. I just coated the threaded part with PTFE tape and hand tightened it in. Um, in fact, actually I, I used a, a little bit too aggressively with a, with a wrench um, or three eighth inch socket and I sheared them off. So I'll show a picture of that right now but you get the idea. Um, I would use hand tight and then maybe just a little bit of an adjustable wrench just to get a good tight fit, but these are tapered, so they'll, uh, they don't need a lot of torque. And the same obviously goes for, for the pump. So here's the part list, actually four things, the valve being the most expensive. This is available at a lot of places. I found it cheapest on eBay with free shipping. Of course, these prices are without tax. Um, I found the, um, barbed MPT adapters uh, on Amazon, as well as the 25 foot um, plastic tube or vinyl hose. And then the water container was about half the price at Walmart that it was from Amazon. So um, effectively you could order all this on Amazon. Uh, I also had the PTF plumber's tape. I did use an adjustable wrench and then I drilled a 3 8 inch uh, hole to widen that breather hole so I could get the tube in. Um, and that's it.